Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to Subsistence. Today I want to talk about an update that just came out at 741, I believe it said in Steam, which was just a little while ago at this point. Um, I think it was about an hour ago. This is a new game mode update. It's got a couple of the changes as well, and I thought I would kind of roll through those really quick. I've got the screen up here, and you can see right away, Easy Normal Hardcore. This is a new thing, and it actually has a description on the right of the things that this changes. Uh, we've been pretty much playing on normal, the only mode that there's been, but now with easy you can see that there's less predators and that players are mostly going to be interested, as they say here, in crafting and building. That would be kind of your, you'd play easy if you wanted to play in that kind of building mode. Hardcore, on the other hand, as it says, is unforgiving <laughs> and unfair. Uh, the predators are tougher and you start with just one life, but you can buy more, uh, it sounds like, at an increasing cost. It's going to get more expensive every time you die. That's a mode I kind of want to check out, even though I'm terrible at this game. I love that kind of stuff, so I may check that out at some point. Now, additionally, down here, you can see we only have continue from last save on this profile. Uh, they made a change. It used to say that here. I forgot if it was above or below this, but you still had to start solo, and that could wipe your profile out. So they've actually removed that for a profile you've used, and now you can just hit clear if you actually wanted to uh, intentionally wipe this out. Next on the list of updates is one involving the mob spawns and their proximity to you when you spawn in. Apparently it has been changed such that when you spawn, you won't be spawned in close proximity to other animals. Uh, so that's good. I don't think I've ever had that happen. I've died a good number of times, but I don't think I've spawned and had a mob immediately next to me. But um, that's definitely good to know <laughs> that it won't be happening now. Additionally, uh, apparently there was a bug where mobs, I say mobs, but these animals, these friendly animals, could spawn <laughs> inside your base, which sounds absolutely terrifying. Another thing that I never experienced myself, but good to know that uh, we won't be experiencing that. There's another note related to the animals in the game, and that is that now when you clear them out, they will actually stay away for a longer period of time now. They were respawning pretty quickly after you kill them, and they would respawn immediately on a reload of the game, but that's actually changed now. They're on a longer timer, so you can actually clear out an area, and it will remain safe for a little while. And apparently that will now persist through saves as well. And the last part of the update actually had to do with a number of bug fixes. Some of them were pretty interesting. I'm gonna drop some things off as I've been running around like crazy. Let me just drop everything off here because I want to test something out. Um, I'm going to keep a couple things on me that, that may not matter too much for this experiment. <laughs> so we're going to carry these two. Let's leave the pick. We're going to leave the gun, which is upgraded. Um, these two we would respawn with, but these two we wouldn't normally. So anyway, those list of updates um, were pretty brief, although the last item does say many, uh, many other small fixes. <laughs> but basically there was a fix for an exploit of being able to kill a bear, standing on a foundation with your axe, hitting them and interrupting them. Uh, there was balanced animal spawns in certain areas. Um, they apparently fixed a bug where the dropped kit, like your kit when you died, uh, would spawn on the floor. Uh, sorry, on the roof or the upper floor when killed in a base, it said, which is interesting because in the last episode of my series, I died standing right in front of my storage there, and when I came back, it was gone. I crouched down and looked under and didn't see it, but I didn't think to look on the roof, so that's kind of a bummer. I should have done that. Reading that update now makes me think, oh, it was probably up there, but, um... That's okay. Finally, it says that they've added hints regarding dropped kit despawn time, animal leveling system, and free starter M9. So, that's what I want to test. I want to know about the drop kit timer hint. Added hints regarding dropped kit despawn timer. So, I want to see what that means exactly. I don't know what that means. Um, is there just going to be a timer on my screen? Uh, I'm assuming it's as simple as that, but I'm kind of curious. I'm also curious how long the timer is because I have no idea. So this timer will definitely let me know. So we're going to die real quick. Oh, look at that. Did some damage to the bear. We are dead. Animals level up each time they kill you. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so our beacon is not going to show up for 100 seconds. You no longer spawn with, or spawn with a free weapon. Craft your own. So that's probably what the M9 uh, deal means. That's interesting. Added hints regarding dropped kit despawn time, animal leveling system, and free starter M9. Now, I, don't, I didn't see a, anything about the timer, right? Did I miss that? 
Well, that should just about cover it. I wanted to make a very quick video talking about the updates here from January 2nd, and I think I've gone through them very quickly indeed. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. As always, I really appreciate it. For those of you who haven't checked it out yet, I do have a running series on this game. In fact, this is my base from that series. I'll be picking this up again tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a link to the video right here for you to click and hopefully enjoy. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next time.